What is up everybody? It's Cobes here and today I am back with a Fortnite video. In today's video we will be ranking every single leak skin from worst to best. So I thought instead of doing it like we rank everything from worst to best, we do it by category. So we're going to do skins, then we're going to do pickaxes, gliders, and backlink. I'm not going to do emotes because I think that's kind of dumb unless I actually see video of the emote or see it in game. I really don't care to do it because it's just a complete guess of what it might be. So make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications guys. I would appreciate that. Let's hop into this list. So at my number six spot for the worst skin to come out of the leaked update, I would say fortune is probably the worst. Okay. If this girl isn't dating a fuck boy, well, I, honestly, I'll donate a million dollars to charity. And there's no way for you to prove that, so you know, just calm down. This skin is trash. I really don't like it. I do own it right now. I just bought it. But honestly, this is one skin where I wish I would have just never bought it. I don't care if it ever becomes rare. I do not want this skin. I do not like it. Moving on to my number five spot, I gave it to the Masked Fury, and I think these um, wrestling skins look kind of creative. I think they're just gonna not look as great because the mask is the big attraction to these skins. But when you use them in gameplay, well, you're not really gonna be able to see the face. You're just gonna see the back, and they're just gonna have like these really tight suits on. And I don't think this guy is gonna look that great with a really tight suit on. Maybe if you're into that, then you'll love this skin, but for me, it's just not, it's not working, guys. Moving on to my number four spot, I gave it to Dynamo, Dynamo, um, I'm, I'm gonna say Dynamo, just because I like the name a little bit more, but it's a girl wrestling skin, and I think she just looks a little bit better because she has some hair sticking out of her mask, and it's colored hair, you know, that that's kind of cool, I guess. The bright bomber's popping, so. Moving on to my number three spot, I give it to Moniker, and this guy has a very simple yet clean design. It looks like a real life white guy, you know? Khakis and a hoodie on, that's what I would wear. Well, maybe not khakis, I wear jeans most of the time, but you know, this guy looks pretty clean, honestly. I swear, if Fortnite was sponsored by Nike, there would be 30 Nike logos all over this motherfucker. Hey Fortnite, go get sponsored by Nike. Come back, bring us back at least 100 Nike logos. Put them on everything. Could you imagine? Oh my. If this game was owned by EA, that would definitely be the case, but it's not. So let's move on to our number two spot. I had to give it to Chomp Sr. And guys, I love Chomp Jr. And I can't wait to get his version of a skin. That's honestly so exciting, guys. I think the Rex is a pretty bad skin overall. And then we have like the Moisty Merman who follows the same kind of pattern. They both have, you know, they have, they have suits on of different animals or different creatures, whatever they may be. But I think a shark suit is probably one of the coolest designs out there and I can't wait to get this guy. I think this is gonna be one of the best skins, maybe the best to come out of this update. We're gonna have to wait and see because my number one spot is Magnus. And honestly, I love this guy's design. He's a Viking. I love, you know, I'm from Minnesota. I love the Minnesota Vikings. I gotta put some respect on this guy's name. Magnus is gonna be one of the best skins to come out of um, any leak skins in a very long time, I would say. We'll have to wait and see though. I hope it's true. I always hope the skins are great, but sometimes they end up just all being shit. Maybe all of these will be garbage, but I doubt it. I think the top two, definitely have huge potential and I already know moniker is already a good skin he's just a nice simple clean skin so now we're gonna move on to the pickaxes and at my number five spot for the worst pickaxe in this leak I gave it to the pile driver and honestly it looks like there's a purse on top of a stick there's a stick stabbed through the middle of a purse and you're gonna swing around a purse like what is this I know the picture is pretty small but at this point, I just have no fucking clue what the hell this is. I'm trying to take a closer look at it. I, even if it wasn't a purse, even if it was something different, I don't care. This thing does not look that great. And it doesn't really look like a pickaxe to me. So I gave it the number five spot. Moving on to my number four spot, I gave it to the studded axe. 
And this one actually came out with moniker. I think this one's a pretty cool design. It's very simple, that's why I didn't give it a higher spot. I don't really like giving the very, very simple pickaxes the highest spot on the list because I don't really think that's fair to the ones that try to be a little bit more creative. However, Pile, Pile Driver, I guess you could say, was trying to be creative. It just failed miserably. Studded Axe is a little bit better than that, I'm assuming. And this one may be one of my favorites to ever come out of this game. I really don't know. It's very simple and it's very clean, but let's just move on to our number three spot. At my number three spot, I gave it to Pointer, and I really don't exactly, I know what this is, it's an arrow, but I don't know if this one's gonna work in game. I really love the color orange. I don't like it more than another orange pickaxe we're getting. So two new orange pickaxes, I love that, guys. I love the color orange in this game, and I swear we don't get enough color orange. We get a lot of like blacks, we get a lot of browns, we get a lot of grays and whites, but not too much colorful shit. So whenever there's something really colorful, I always have high hopes, and I am excited for this one. I think it could work out. Maybe it'll be my favorite. Moving on to my number two spot, I gave it to Four Bear, and I think this is going with Magnus, I'm assuming. This one looks like a almighty god tier pickaxe, but I don't like it more than one pickaxe. I think this one, it's a, it's a sure thing it's gonna be great. But I'm really, I really have high hopes for the number one spot. But for Bearer, guys, I would say across the board, if you're just going for a really simple pickaxe design, I wouldn't even say this is simple necessarily, but simple in the way that the colors work, you know, a gray colored pickaxe, we've seen a million of those, but this actually has a lot of detail on it. And I think this is gonna be one of my favorites to come into this game. I'm just really excited for the number one spot. I really hope it works out. At my number one spot, I gave it to the power grip. You guys take a look at it. It looks pretty similar to a pickaxe, so I think it could work. I also think this could fail miserably and be the worst to come out of this update. See, <laughs> I gotta take the risk, guys. I got to. I think this could either be the best or the worst. I hope it's the best but it might not be. What do you guys think about this one? Tell me in the comments section. This is the one I'm most excited for and I think looks the best as of right now. So now we're gonna move on to the back bling. So we only have four back bling in the leaks. At my number four spot, I gave it to Insignia. And this back bling looks as cool as it sounds. I really do love it. And we haven't gotten too many shields throughout this game. We've gotten a lot in like season two and from season two skins like the Red Knight, Black Knight, and the um, Blue Squire and Royal Knight as well. I don't really know if we have any other um, shields out there. We just got one, Rear Guard. I would maybe consider that a shield. I, uh, it, but it doesn't have the shield look like we all know and love. You know what I mean? So I think we only have four in total and they all came in season two. So with Insignia, I think this is going to be a great shield design and I love getting shields. So this one, it's amazing, but I don't think it's as cool as some of the other ones we're getting. So moving on to my number three spot, I gave to Shark Fin. And I really like the concept of this. I think this could either be a hit or a miss. I really hope it's a hit. Maybe it could be like the next Love Wings. That's my prediction, but I'm still putting it at the number three spot because I think the other ones are still cooler than this one. But this shark fin could really be a hit or really be a miss. That's how I'm feeling right now. It really depends how it looks in game. In back bling, they're very difficult to tell. I would even say as, as well as pickaxes because you never really know how big or small they're gonna be. Sometimes pickaxes are huge, sometimes back blings are small or huge, it doesn't, you know, it could be all over the spectrum, um, you never know. But moving on to my number two spot, I gave it to the Enduring Cape, which I'm assuming is coming with Magnus, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but just a fur cape, I think this is gonna look so nice, it's gonna be like a heavy ass fur blanket that you, you know? Just imagine carrying a heavy ass fur blanket. It's gonna look heavy in game, it's gonna look thick, but it's gonna look nice, I think. And I think this is gonna go well with every single skin in this game, and I can't wait to see it. I think this is gonna be a huge 
draping cape on your back. It's gonna cover, it's gonna go down to your toes. It's gonna go fucking past your toes. You're gonna be stepping on it, getting the bottom dirty as you're running. But I can't wait for this one. But I can't wait, guys, to talk about our number one spot. Let's move on to it at my number one spot. My favorite back bling, I think, is gonna be the penguin, and I am so excited for this one, guys. If you guys know the Hatchling, that's one of my favorites that came with Triceratops. I cannot wait to see the Penguin backling, guys. This one's gonna look amazing. I love this and I also could hate it, but I honestly think this one's just gonna be, it's gonna be a hit for me. I'm gonna love it. I don't, I, I really can't see myself hating on this one. What do you guys think about it? I think it's going to be the next hatchling, the next one I just absolutely love using. I think it's going to be a little bit smaller than you may think it may be, and it's going to look great. So let's move on to the last part of this video, which is the gliders. So at my number four spot for a glider that already came out, I gave it to the rhinestone rider. And this one, it kind of looks like a bejeweled pair of jeans, but on top of a glider. I don't really like the design all that much. I think it's a little bit too simple and not in a good way. Not in a good way. Um, I just don't like it. I don't think the colors work as well. So this one already came out. I would definitely recommend not buying this. Do not buy it. Just skip it. There's so many other better ones coming out soon. Moving on to my number three spot, I give to Helium. And helium, you may look at it and be like, God damn, that thing looks nice. I know, I know it looks nice, but still guys, I can't give it a higher spot because we have two of the coolest gliders to maybe come into this game. We're really gonna have to wait and see. So helium, definitely a cool one. I love the color yellow on any glider. It stands out so much. But moving on to my number two spot, I gave it to Libre. I'm assuming that's the name. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but this one's definitely coming with the wrestlers and out of the wrestlers What would you buy you would definitely buy the glider buy this motherfucker? It's exactly like the feathered flyer. It has the same design except for the color scheme is a lot different The color red definitely stands out and I think it's gonna look amazing compared to the feathered flyer I think it may look better than the feathered flyer to be honest. So go out and buy this one. I love it guys I can't wait to buy it. Moving on to my number one spot. I gave it to Rush for one of the most detailed gliders ever to be added into this game. I love this, guys. Like, I don't even know what to look at. There's so much detail on this glider. There's, you know, a few colors, but those few colors look like thousands of colors. I think there's gold, yellow, white, and green. But for some reason, it looks like so many different colors. And I think this one is the most detailed and creative, just regular old glider designs we've ever gotten and will ever get, I mean, possibly. We'll have to wait and see. But tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you guys like these leaks? Do you hate them? Are you excited for them? Tell me in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on your notifications if you did enjoy. See you guys later. I will be streaming on Twitch. Bye-bye.